winning is important. And to win, you must have the best. Sacramento, California, capital city of the nation's most populous state. A city of great diversity. A city of government, shipping on both land and sea, military bases. And this is Stockton, also served by KTXL and the very center of California's gigantic agricultural industry. The market goes on and on, and we believe it should have a very special newscast to cover it all every night. And now the award-winning News Plus with Pete Wilson. Good evening. We have some quick notes on the Iran situation for you to begin tonight. Still no... Weeknights at 10, KTXL News presents Sacramento's only primetime newscast. An hour of news, including the vital stories, plus a deeper look into important subjects with concise reporting and provocative live interviews. Spearheading the team is anchorman Pete Wilson. More than a news veteran, a news personality with experience, authority, and a desire for excellence. Pete Wilson talks about the advantages of News Plus and comments on his News Plus colleagues. The whole idea here was to come up with a hybrid, not just for the sake of being different, but to combine the best of two worlds, if you will, the news format with a hard local concentration and the mix, the magazine idea, without the too cute PM magazine feeling. We wanted to be able to relate our news content to the people of Sacramento Stockton so that somewhere down the line, instead of being the ABC station or the NBC station, we become Sacramento's television station. That's the idea, and we think that that's what we have. Pat McConaughey, in addition to excellent uh, general assignment work and a tough delivery, Pat handles our consumer pieces, and consumerism has kind of become a cliche in this business, but she succeeds in uh, placing the viewer into the picture, and that's the important part of News Plus. She evaluates the products from the beginning, looking for the flaws without all the government mumbo-jumbo. Joe Moskowitz, uh, Joe can say more in a few seconds of tight copy than most sportscasters say in a week of rooting for the local team. Why? Well, I think because he's simply the best sports writer in the area, a reporter who is not afraid to offer an occasional opinion about sacred sports, and his Sports Plus pieces relate what he says directly to the people of Sacramento Stockton. Do you like high school football? Oh, I like it, but now I have to watch it. I've got a boy 15 years old in the junior varsity. He'd shoot me if it didn't. <laughs> Meteorologist, Dash environmental reporter Joe Conway. Joe manages to avoid the trappings of the usual weather forecast, the charts, the graphs, the isobars, the gobbledygook, and tells people what is happening and how it will affect their lives, their lives in the surroundings of Sacramento Stockton. The forecast for Sacramento, Stockton, Modesto, it's going to be nice weather tomorrow. Uh, we're expecting temperatures, little change, probably the upper 60s, maybe even the low 70s. Sue Statz, our uh, Medical Plus reporter, incisive but with feeling. Sue invented involvement, and at least in the sense that uh, she feels the stories in medical reporting. It's almost more important than the stories themselves because the viewer has a direct line to the medical information. News Plus is more, much more, with Lyra Halperin covering the farm scene. On the scene reports from Lonnie Wong, Mick Martin with weekly movie reviews, Jay Wasserman with California Lifestyle, and the latest in Sacramento Stockton dining out spots from the Phantom Diner. And of course the latest state-of-the-art technology and the new production facilities at KTXL and the satellite receiver for both national and international news coverage. There you have it. The best of both worlds. The concept, the people, the technology. It all adds up to 